Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll talk about the most important topic in digital electronics that is design of mod 10 ripple down counter. So as you know, counter counts number of clock pulses. So here modulus is 10. It means total it will count 10 clock pulses. So number of states are 10 here. So this is down counter. It means it will count in downward direction. That is it will count from n minus 1 to 0. So n minus 1 is 9 to 0. In digital electronics remember we always start with 0. So here we will go up to 0. So 9 to 0 total 10 clock pulses. Then ripple counter is nothing but asynchronous counter. It means clock is not simultaneously connected to all flip flops. Clock is connected to only one flip flop and output of first flip flop acts as clock input to second output of second flip flop acts as clock input to third flip flop. And when we design asynchronous counters in up counters, see this is down counter in up counters Q output is connected to next flip flops clock input. And in case of down counter Q bar output of first flip flop is connected to clock input of next flip flop. So this is our sequential circuit internally it consists of flip flops so we must know how many flip flops are required to design this circuit so there are two methods to identify this first is how much is maximum count maximum count is 9 how to write 9 in binary 1 0 0 1 as you know flip flop is also called as one bit memory cell because it can store one bit of data so how many bits we have here 1, 2, 3 and 4 bits. So we need 4 flip flops. So here directly you can write number of flip flops required are 4. Or another method is here n must be less than or equals to 2 raised to n. Here small n indicates number of flip flops. So here n is 10. So 10 must be less than and equals to 2 raised to n. So if I'll put n is equals to 3, then this number becomes 8. So it will not satisfy this condition. So n must be 4. So I'll substitute 4 in place of small n. So this will get satisfied. So number of flip flops required are 4. So these are basics to design any counter. Next is you must draw state diagram. State diagram means in which state sorry which outputs we will get so here what we will get 9 to 0 so binary equivalent of 9 is 1 0 0 1 so this is my first state after that after 9 what will come 8 after 8 next is 7 after 7 6 and it will go up to 0 so this is state diagram from 9 to 0 and after 0 again it will come back to 9. So, it will rotate through these states only. You must draw this in circular fashion. So, let's start design by using flip-flops. We need flip 4 flip-flops and these are my 4 flip-flops. Generally, we don't consider preset and clear inputs of flip-flops in other designs. But when we design ripple counter or a synchronous counter, it is very very important to consider preset and clear inputs. I have prepared separate video on how preset and clear inputs affect the working of flip-flop. The link is given in the description box. But in short, I'll tell you, preset and clear are generally active low. This bubble indicates active low. It means... If clear will receive 0, it will clear contents of flip-flop. It means output of flip-flop will become 0. Whereas preset, it means it will set output of flip-flop to 1. But when, if both of the, if they will receive 0. So if preset will receive 0, output will become 1. If clear will receive 0, output will become 0. Then when we design counter using JK flip-flops, asynchronous counter, then it is very easy design is fixed for any counter j and k inputs are connected to vcc so they'll work in toggle mode they are connected to vcc do you remember truth table of jk flip flop i'll write it here Qn plus 1. So in 
JK flip flop when both inputs are zero, output will remain same as previous state. Q n plus one is my pre next state, and Q n is my present state. For zero one it is zero, for one zero it is one, and for one one next state is complement of my present state. And here you can see all flip flops. J and K are continuously connected to VCC, so our counter will work in this state only. Next state is always complement of present state. But when if clock will come then. So here J and K are connected to VCC. Here I'll get clock. Clock is connected to only one flip flop, and output of first flip flop will act as clock input to second. But you need to remember this is down counter, so Q zero output. Q zero bar will get connected. Here Q one bar, I'll connect to clock, and here Q two bar, I'll connect to. Clock because this is my down counter. In case of up counter, what we'll do? Instead of Q zero bar, I'll connect Q zero. Another thing is the flip flop which receives external clock. So here external clock is connected to this flip flop. So here this will generate least significant beat, and the last flip flop will generate most significant beat. Now this entire circuit is ready. If I'll not connect preset and clear anywhere, then it will count from one 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 to zero zero zero. But what I want, I don't want counting from fifteen to zero. I want counting from nine one zero zero one to fifteen. Oh, sorry, to zero. So you need to remember after zero, what will come? After zero, fifteen will come naturally. If I'll not Put any reset circuitry. So here naturally one 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 will come. It means outputs of all flip flops are one. So it is very easy. Design is very easy. You just need to take one NAND gate and connect all outputs because here what you can see after zero 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 naturally one 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 will come. So I'll take Q zero, Q one, Q two, Q three, and I'll connect all of them to input of NAND gate. So see, all outputs are connected to input of NAND gate. Then output of that NAND gate. See, so as soon as output will become zero 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 zero, it will try to become one 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 one. But in case of NAND gate, when all inputs are one, then it will generate output zero. And what we want? We want one zero zero one. This is my Q two MSB. Then Q one. Sorry. Q3, Q2, Q1, and Q0. So here you can see Q3 and Q0 must be one. So I wanted to make this Q0 and Q3 one. So what I'll do? I'll connect this output, output of my NAND gate, to preset of this Q3 and Q0 because I want both of them to be one. So I'll take preset and I'll connect it to input of NAND gate. Output of NAND gate. This two output of NAND gate and this preset also. So see, when output will try to become one 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 after zero, then this NAND gate will generate output zero because all four inputs are one. Then this is connected to preset of this Q three and Q zero. So these flip flops will generate output one one because they'll preset, they'll set output to one. Next is and these two, I don't want both of them to work. So what I can do? I can connect them to VCC. They'll receive zero, then they'll work. But I don't want them to work, so I'll connect them to VCC. Similarly, now these two are one, but I want these two to be zero. I want zero here and I want zero here. So what I'll do? I'll use clear of these two. So I'll take clear. 
and I'll connect it to output of NAND gate. So when output of NAND gate will become 0, automatically this will become 1, this will become 0 because clear is connected to output. This will also become 0 and this will become 1. So what will happen after 0, 0, 0 instead of 1, 1, 1, 1, what I'll get? I'll get 1, 0, 0, 1. So 9. And again naturally because Q0 bar is connected to clock, naturally it will down count, down count up to 0. Again, when it will reach to 0, naturally it will try to go to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. But because of this reset circuitry, output will get 1, 0, 0, 1. So, in this way, we can design our circuit. You need to remember, this is my mod 10 counter. So, I will start counting from 9. So, this circuit will remain same for any down counter. For any 4 bit down counter Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 all of them will go to input of NAND gate and based on this number you will have to connect output of NAND gate to preset and clear. So the clear which the flip flops where we want 0 will connect clears of those flip flops to output of NAND gate and here I will connect it to VCC and VCC. It means if it will receive 0 then it will make output 0 but I don't want to make output 0. So I will disable them by connecting them to VCC. So this is my circuit diagram. Now let's start with the timing diagram. Clock is nothing but a square waveform. Then you can see our clock is negative edge triggered. So bubble indicates negative and arrow indicates age so output will change at negative ages so i'll mark negative ages negative age means transition from 1 to 0 so these are my negative ages now i'll have four outputs q0 q1 q2 and q3 so my counter will start counting from 9, 1, 0, 0, 1. So what I'll do, I'll make Q0, 1, this Q1, 0, Q2, 0 and Q3, 1. This is 1, 0, 0, 1 and see here. Q0 bar, Q0 bar is connected to clock input, Q1 bar is connected to clock input. So we want Q0 bar, Q1 bar, Q2 bar. So here I want Q0 bar also, Q1 bar also and Q2 bar also. So okay, so let's start with Q0. You can see here as truth table of JK flip flop is when both inputs are 1, next state is complement of present state. When clock input will come, next state will toggle. So here you can see initially my output is 1. At first negative age it will become 0 and it will remain 0 up to next negative age. At next negative age again it will toggle and it will become 1. So this is my Q0. Then I will have to draw Q0 bar from this so q0 bar is nothing but what it is simply complement this q0 bar will act as clock input to my next flip flop so i'll mark its negative ages okay so q1 is initially 0 up to first negative age, it will remain 0. At first negative age, it will toggle because in Q1 also, both inputs are connected to logic 1. Then it will remain 1 up to next clock. Then it will become 0. And Q1 bar is complement of this. Simply complement. If it is 1, this is going to be 0. Next, for Q2, to get Q2, Q1 will act as clock input. Q1 bar will act as clock input. So, I will mark its negative ages. 
so it will remain zero up to first negative age then it will become one and it will remain one up to next negative age then again it will become zero up to next negative age q2 bar we will draw based on this so it is zero so it will become one simply complement okay and now output will change at its negative ages so it is 1 and then it will become 0 we don't want complement of q3 because we don't have any further flip flop okay so now i'll write values 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 zero. i'll write all values Okay, so do you remember our Q three is MSB and Q zero is my least significant bit. So this number will become Q three is one zero zero one. Don't check values of Q zero bar, Q one bar, Q two bar. They are not needed for output. They are only needed as a clock. So one zero zero one. So my first number is one zero zero one. Then my MSB is one and other three are zero. So one triple zero. Then my MSB is zero and other are one one one. Then zero one one zero. Then zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one one zero zero one zero 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 one. All zeros. So here you can see this is nine, eight, seven, six, five, zero, one, zero, zero is four, three, two, one, and zero. After zero, it will try to become fifteen naturally. But because of this logic, because of my this logic, what I'll get at the output, I'll get zero. So this will remain zero. This will also remain. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll get. One zero zero one. I'm extremely sorry. After zero zero zero, as I told you here, it will reset to one zero zero one because these two will preset my outputs and these two will clear my output. So what I'll get here, I'll get one zero zero, and this will again become one. So again, it will start from one zero zero one, just like this. And naturally, because of J and K are connected to VCC and Q bar is connected to clock input, again it will go through all these states. So it will keep on repeating from nine to zero, nine to zero. In this way, you can implement mod ten down counter, down ripple counter. I hope this concept is now clear to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the like button thank you